So before starting this video, I'd love to thank Relable for sponsoring this entire tree series. So do you wish to work with companies like Red, Upgrad, Urban Company, Razorpay, but you are not able to apply because of your lack of experience and of lack of opportunities? So here's a solution to this problem. Relable by Unacademy is a hiring platform that helps freshers and experienced people to get jobs in India's top companies. All you need is skills. So what you need to do is you just need to give the relevant test that is completely based on your skills. Depending on your performance, your interview will be scheduled and you will be hired from the relevant platform. And the best thing about this is it's absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Please make sure you check out the links in the description. Hey everyone, welcome to the second lecture of the Free Cut Tree series. Today's lecture will be about representing binary tree in C++. So, if this is the binary tree structure, okay, so how will this be represented in C++? Generally, we create a struct node, okay, uh, we will come to the code part, but uh, the struct node is something like this, where you store the value 5, okay, and this is, this can be stored in some uh, integer data type value, and it has a pointer, a left pointer, okay, and it has also a right pointer. It has a couple of pointers, left as well as right. The left pointer will be pointing to the left children, which is 6. Again, that 6 will be a node, correct? And the right will be 7. So, this is how it will be pointing. Again, this 6 will be pointing to 8. The left, the left guy will be pointing to 8. And the right guy will be pointing to 9. Okay, now this 8 doesn't have anyone on the left, doesn't have anyone on the right. So these guys will be pointing to null. Okay, in C++, uh, it's a capital null. So this is what, now 9 has a left guy. So this left guy will be 1 and again this left will be null and this left will also be null. Does this 9 have any right? No. So that will be again null. So in this way, this is also null. So in this way, a tree is basically represented in a C++ using pointers. Now, how can you represent them in a code? Let's check that out. So the code will look something like this. So basically, uh, this was the stuff that we were using. So this data will be nothing but this guy. This will be the data. This left pointer is this guy. And the right pointer is this guy. Okay. And we have defined a struct data type. And we have defined a constructor kind of a thing where we will be passing on the values and this will be assigned to over here and the left and right will be assigned to null because initially when you declare something it is not pointing to anyone so that's null so this is how the declaration of a particular node will look now in your main how will you create a tree let's assume i'm creating this root node so what i'll do is i'll create a node root and I'll say new node. I'll call this constructor kind of a thing. I'll pass on the value that I want. 1. So I'll assign that to data. So basically I've created this guy. 1 root is created. Next I'm saying root ka left. This guy is left. So basically I'm assigning this guy is left. Okay. And I'm saying new node. Again I'm creating one more node. And I'm saying please have 2 in it. Done. Next I'm saying root ka right. Root ka right. And a new node of 3. So a new node of 3 is done. Next time saying root ka left, root, root ka left, ka right, ka right, new node of 5, new node of 5. So in this way, I can create this tree. And if you want to create a bigger tree, you can definitely use uh, these kind of a syntaxes and you can definitely do it. So this is how you will uh, represent a binary tree in C++. So I hope you have understood the entire explanation as well as the code, just in case you did. Please, please, please make sure you like this video because it took a lot of efforts to uh, make this entire tree series. Also, if you wish, you can definitely drop in a comment that will keep motivating me to make such further series. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing because I'm going to bring in such more series in the upcoming future as well. With this, uh, let's wrap up this video. Let's meet in the next lecture. Bye-bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever